Charles Joseph Carter Jr. grew up in New York's Spanish Harlem. Dad was a factory worker, mom worked in a grocery store. They lived in the projects, infamous for crime and drugs. They kept warm by the stove and occasionally dodged bullets. Chuck hoped basketball would someday lift him out of that neighborhood, but it was a family ritual that did it. This is Channel 7, WABC TV, New York. Every night, the Carters watched the news together, and that sparked something in Chuck. He got a journalism degree from Lemoyne College in Syracuse and landed his first full-time television job as a production assistant. WTNH-TV, New Haven. In the same Connecticut newsroom, he now runs. This is Action News with Al Terzi and Jerry Harris. Beverly Johnson. With when Harris. Chuck Carter came to News 8 the first time around, he and I were uh, much younger then. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. Al Terzi has the night off. And he came into the newsroom and his name was Charles. It was not Chuck. Live from WTNH Channel 8, this is Action News Weekend. His mother gave him his name, Charles. And out of reverence to her, that's how he started in this business, as Charles. Good evening, everybody. We I think I first met you. Chuck uh, here at Channel 8, you know, and I saw this, uh, you know, big guy, giant walking in the room with that smooth voice. And, uh, you know, kind of knew right away he was going to be a star. He kind of brought that energy. In his television journey with more than a dozen stops. Live from WTIC TV. That young creative producer became a news manager, winning hearts and minds by treating those around him as more than just employees. I think he's a salt of the earth, sweetheart. Everyone loves him trustworthy, he's present, he's the coach, he's a mentor, he's just a great, great all-around guy. There isn't anybody who knows Chuck who doesn't feel the same way. This is a man of integrity, of capacity. I mean, he's great at his job, but he's also really great at getting the most out of people because he's warm and friendly and supportive. This is ABC 25 News at 6. In Jacksonville, I was 23 years old and there was a hurricane headed directly for Jacksonville, Florida. Of course, my parents are 3,000 miles away in California thinking, oh my goodness, she's, she's all this way. There's this hurricane bearing down. What are we going to do? Chuck called my mom and said, I got her, no worries. I'm going to make sure she's okay. She's my job. And I'm telling you, my mom has never forgotten that moment. Chuck doesn't cuss. He just doesn't. I had never run into anyone in a newsroom like that before. When he's not in the newsroom, Chuck's other passion is photography capturing moments in time with an artistic flair and volunteering to help families in their darkest hours. He would go into hospitals when babies pass, when they don't make it, and they would call him in to take these beautiful memorial pictures of babies so that the families could have something to hold on to. At the heart of it all, Chuck Carter is a storyteller, helping all those around him make the stories they tell and their stories better. We all know that he was right there in our shoes for a long time, and that's why he gets the respect in the newsroom, and he also has got that great personality larger than life personality and this kind of honor is a long time coming. He deserves it in more ways than one. Mm -hmm.